Welcome Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to Robin's Realm Readings. I love you guys. Here's your reading for April. Let me get a quick cup, sip of coffee. Yeah, babe. Gotta have that. So I'm going to start your reading in April on a more metaphysical note. I'm going to bring you a Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle card. Something you can think about. Um, lead you into the month. And then I bought these brand new tech. I don't know them all yet. But this is the Oracle of Visions by Cyril Marchetti. It talks about circumstances and things like that that need to be dealt with. So let me start your reading, Pisces. That's a solar plexus bell that I hit that uh, clears my energetic center so I can work for you. I'm doing channeling work for my Pisces. So, all right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome in. Cross watchers, you're welcome too. Thank you for those who've ordered readings from me. You guys, I la 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 love you, okay? And if you haven't ordered a reading from me and you'd like one, I'm here. Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com. Hit me up. Tell me you want a reading. Um, like I said, cross watchers are welcome. I don't mind. I've noticed something about Pisces reading, so I get the funkiest people in here. I don't know why that is sometimes. Like trolls, they come in. I'm like, what? You know, so I question them. Of course I'm going to do that, my beloved. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the sacred activation oracle for them? Divine masculine energy. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Number 22 is a master builder number. Oh, my God, you guys. Look at that. The frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side. Allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. Wow. Manifesting with divine masculine energy. You guys, oh, that's so very, very cool. All right, let's go into the Oracle of Visions. And what do you want to say to Pisces? It's a general energy, you guys. It's not personal unless you want it to be personal. Like I say, you know, a lot of people don't even know what they're... They don't even know where Venus is in their, their chart at all. They don't realize that they're ruled quite a bit by the by the uh, temperance of the temperament of their moon, wherever their moon is. So if you don't know and you'd like to know, and I think this is kind of awkward saying this to Pisces because you guys are, to me, you're like the you're like the um, oracles, the magicians, the high priestess, the the dreamies, the dreamy ones on the planet. We have dreamy energy. I just absolutely love it. All right. So let's see what you guys are creating and why. What are they saying to you, though? What is the focus for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? As I've said, I didn't know these cards, so I'll look at this. Okay. A few strokes after midnight. I'll have to read it to you because I will I will jack it up. Don't want that. <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting. All my life. I've been waiting for my life to begin. As if somehow my life was ahead of me. And that someday I would arrive at it. That's a quote by Cameron Mannheim. Wow. Isn't she an actress? I like her. Waiting for a message to arrive can bring anxiety, fear, hope, good news or bad news, acceptance or rejection. A ticking clock counts down and time, the time remaining. A young woman has been waiting anxiously, and the sleeping dog suggests she has done so for some time. The phone is silent. The bouquet of roses suggests a previous response was received. But from whom? The same sender or someone else? Either way, 
the anticipated answer finally arrives, but by now the clock indicates that the hour has passed, just in time or too late. The process of waiting for a response isn't merely one of passing the time patiently. The immediacy or tardiness of the response may also provide some insight beyond the message itself. A deadline imposed may be tied to a condition or an ultimatum. Is there flexibility or has the opportunity been lost? Whoa. What an intense card for you guys to get. All right, let me go right into your reading, Pisces. This is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Using the Vice Versa Tarot deck. They're so badass. They're different than regular tarot decks. They force you to read the backside, and I'm so inept at, for the words. I'm at a loss for some of the words. Um, even though I'm a really good reader, I'm just a person, right? I'm a builder like you. So I work with what I have. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is Pisces energy, and what are they currently dealing with personally in their, in their environment? Pisces, sun, moon, rising, please. Currently, there's this energy of uh, up and running. It's like up and running. This is probably someone in your life, too, that makes you wait. Some of you may be in a vulnerable situation because somebody with this energy, it's usually represented by Aries Leo Sagittarian energy that comes to you, stirs up your passion, gives you flowers, takes you to bed, makes incredible love to you, freaks out, you freak out, and, they, and you sit there going, they just don't see me, they don't love me. And I've done this before, and I've sat back and went, you selfish asshole. But I love you, but you're a selfish asshole. That's what I get. You're feeling that way. Some of you are actually being that way. You're like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Big problem with that. Do you want commitment with somebody or not? You have to work your energy to be in a place, in a mindset, where you attract someone that really suits you in, in your life, one way or another, and... You're happy and having a happy life with this person. You're actually doing something you friggin' love to do. And you're good doing it. You're good with it. And they're good with it. But you have to set yourself up for that, that mindset. So I don't know what the cards are going to say, but let's see. This is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yep, your own card in reverse. The Moon card in reverse. This is the, two t this is the representation of the two towers that were just recently hit. They were recently hit, and this is the back side. You can't see it's open, but their towers with crash side on them. All right? It's very vulnerable. It's a very vulnerable card. I'm going to take a glance at that in the book so I don't mislead you on the meaning of her. In reverse, I could tell you what I think. This woman, some of you, are seen as the dark side of the high priestess. This is an offer of an, an initiation of some kind. The choice between a bowl of phosphorescent seawater and a glowing egg. Which are, which are you most drawn to? And what does that tell you about your psyche? Remember, rational solar thinking has no place here. The moon shadow has turned day into night. <sighs> the imagination has free flow in the place of dreams and visions. Hey, that's so Piscean. I freaking love it. You guys know if you well, if you're new to my channel, you don't know this. If you've come back, thank you. I love you. Um, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I do have Pisces Moon. So my emotions are like you guys. Like you're like every day. You know, if that's your sun sign, right? That's what perks you up is when you, you perk up when it, that, that timeline around your birthdays, right? 
Oh, the sun. Hey, so here you go. Now you got some clear vision. You've come out of the nighttime energy, some of you. And you have just spoken your truth. You have decided that you want to walk in the sun and not sit around waiting for someone to communicate with you. You're going to do it yourself. You're going to go back to your innocent state of being. You're going to say, you know what? I'm going to the sun. F this. I'm out. I'm out. I made an offer to you. I showed you my soft side. I showed you my dark side. I, I opened up my doors for you, and you did not come. You did not respect me. I'm out. You know them dark gifts that you give people? You don't. They're not negative. They're not negative. They're just secrets, and they're, they're special things that you have within you. Oh, okay, so some of you may be dealing with the Leo as well. Uh, this is your own card, Pisces. This is Leo energy here, possibly. They make you feel good and bright. They're probably your divine masculine. Then you have a Virgo energy of learning from the lesson, learning how to keep your lamp lit and how to keep your body strong and healthy and how to get out there in the world. And Yet what it has to take for you to do that is to go in and meditate and decide how you want to recreate your life from this day forward, Pisces. You're also coming up as the queen. Here you go, babies. Look at you. Aren't you gorgeous? Foxy, sexy, watery, clear. Guess who followed her? The high priestess. Oh, shit. Of course. This is all about you right now. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could have been dealing with or maybe dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or another water sign, perhaps. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this is the... Uh, this is being empathetic and alert. This is being kind and nurturing on the planet. So maybe you are the nurturing side of this divine feminine, masculine energy. And also highly, 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 highly psychic, gifted, intuitive, creative, using old formulas. Um, I've, been, I've been listening to a lot of the old Sanskrit stuff, you know. I like to know our history. Like, I'm into anthropology as well. I love that. However... There are secrets of the universe, there are secrets in the cosmos, there's knowledge, there's ancient knowledge, there's dealing with the dark side, the shadow side, uh, and the light side, and keeping them in constant balance, being the recept, being a divine receptor, and also having respect with a headdress, but also being connected to the source, north, south, east, and west, and divine. This is nobody to toy with, because she knows what you're thinking before you say it. That's you guys, okay? Now, who, I don't need to clarify any of this. Not at all. Wow, okay, cool. So show me who's coming towards them in their love life. What love is showing for, for the Piscean people, please? Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is for you. And again, cross-watchers are welcome. We'll talk. Make sure you hit that like button for me, you guys, please. And um, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, every time I hit a plateau, like 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 people, then I, uh, with subscribers, then I will go ahead and have another giveaway of a deck of cards. This time I may be giving this one away. That's a fantastic deck to have. You have no idea how important it is to have something to meditate on. These are the cards you buy to actually meditate with. You can sit and just stare at the card and, and get the messaging and wander into it mentally because it's layered and layered and layered of nuances of building. Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle cards can be purchased off of Amazon. All right, who's coming towards them? All right, you got somebody coming toward you that's going to ask for your advice, okay? They're going to ask for your insight. They're going to be troubled. They're not going to see everything. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone who's kind of like in the dark, they don't know. They're like self-perceived bondage. They don't know. You can, you can help them, though. You're amazing. You know. You know the secrets of the universe, a lot of you guys. Sometimes you just have to be receptive and kind to these people. Um, you got this... 
hear a font coming towards you. It may be a Taurus or somebody who's turned their beliefs around and, and they don't believe what they used to believe anymore. It could be the, this person. This is the end of a marriage too. So you may be getting approached by somebody who's going through a divorce, a real one. Okay, not that asshole that comes in and says, yeah, my wife and I aren't getting along very good, and uh, I'm just not in love anymore, but we got kids in a house. You know, that same, oh, crap, that the this kind of person would bring to you. It's bullshit. But this is looking like somebody who's dis, dis, very, very distracted, very dis, um, unable to see the future at all. Maybe they need you to see the future for them. Here's what's coming towards you. You might have an earth sign. Um, and also the empress is coming towards you. This is uh, having everything you need. Where you need it. When you need it. Resources. Love. Groundedness. Happiness. Loyalty. Friendship. Finances. Abundance, abundant heart, abundant mind, uh, abundance, and feeling super grounded. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is the Empress energy of the co-creatrix with the Divine Masculine. My God, look what you guys got. Not only did you get this sexy, um, vulnerable moon in reverse card, but you also have... These are all your characters, you guys. The Waiting Girl... Nobody appreciates me. The divine feminine, watery, emotional, sensitive, empathic, kind, loving, queen of water. The secretive, intuitive, knowledgeable, wise, cosmic goddess, high priestess. And then you have the empress energy coming toward you. If you're a masculine, this is going to be a good thing if you want a family because this person literally will bring you a child if you want it. Use your intuition. Okay? Use your intuition. Do you want the ten of coins? You might get them. Show me a little bit more about who's coming towards Pisces. Oh, a past life love maybe. Someone you've known before has shown up for you and this is, uh, Six of Cups is where you're in your emotional state of being receptive, remembering something from the past, remembering what it felt like to feel innocent and loving and connected to somebody. Hardcore psychic memories, but they flash through your heart. One more card, please, for Pisces. And you feel extremely on fire and victorious. Uh, this is overcoming passions and, and, um, being victorious in your outlook. This is your outcome card. It is a gift from the divine. You have a new relationship, a new love coming, or something big. Something big is coming for you guys, and you need to be very uh, discerning about how you go about getting it. And I think that a lot of you females have attracted a divine masculine. Your perfect balance other, two and two. The perfect balance. I don't see the two of cups. Do I need to see that? No. All right, Pisces. What does the romance angel say to Pisces? What is your guide to them? That ain't right. I got the deception card, but I don't believe it. This one. Express your love. Express your love to the right one. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Bring them into your space, your sacred space. All right? If you want them. But also free yourself from that energy of waiting on some mofo to come through. Don't be sitting around waiting. You guys are shining stars. You're like, I don't know. You're like lotus flowers on the planet to me, you know? Don't be sitting there waiting for somebody. There's no need for that. What else do you want to say to Pisces before we let them go? Thank you, Spirit. Make the effort, okay? Make the effort for yourself. Find out what it's going to take for you to work with someone here who either they have to. I, right here is where you say, before you get to the Ten of Coins, 
right here when you're addressing this person here. Romantic interest. Could be a Taurus. Could be an air sign. Could be a water sign. Could be a fire sign. Could be an earth sign. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, have the strength to get it nice and clear that they show me the papers before I commit to you or let you even come in and have booty. Show me the papers of your divorce. I do not have time for this. I don't care who you are. I could have known you in five lifetimes. But if you come here disrespecting me, you will not get me. I'm sorry. That's very old school of me, Pisces. But I needed to say it. I love you very much. That's your reading. I hope I've helped you. If you'd like a free, like a um, personal reading, they're very private. Just hit me up on my email, Robin's Realm Readings at Gmail. Love you guys. Bye from Rob for now. Namaste.